back to my kitchen and today I'm doing an unboxing of Mr. Coffee espresso machine. Ever since joining Weight Watchers, I have become addicted to the Premier Protein Caramel Shake and with a double shot of espresso, you'll never need to go back to Starbucks. You get some protein and some good coffee. So. I figured I'm tired of instant espresso and I'm also tired of going to the coffee shop just for espresso. So I figured why not give it a shot. So I'm going to show you what's inside the box and what everything comes with and then I will be showing you how I make my caramel ice coffee. Let's get into it. recipe book and teaching you how to care for it that's nice I hope they have a YouTube channel so we can show you step by step Now that was a little difficult. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing stuff on the side. Okay. Oh. It looks like a measuring cup. the handle put the espresso grinds in here oh that's nice a spoon to measure it out your grain I thought so you got the cup that's in the photo. That's nice. Dishwasher safe. Nice. Sorry for the noise. My husband is doing a podcast. That's nice. It feels nice. Let me. Isn't that pretty? It doesn't feel really cheap. From the reviews that I've watched and videos, um, you need to make sure that you seal this really tight before starting it. And you have to make sure you release all the steam out before opening it. So, and they made it sound like that was a very big deal. So just make sure you read your manual before working on it. It's 
pretty. I can't wait to make espresso. This was recommended uh, recommended to me by my husband's cousin, Smitty. So, I'm going to clean this before I use it. And I will show you my first cup of espresso. We'll be back in a bit. All right, I got everything cleaned, dried off, and ready to go. The first thing you want to do, I'm going to be doing a four cup. So I filled it up. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. Four cups, filled it. You want to close it and make sure you close it very tight because this is going to build up a lot of pressure. Okay. Now I do want to mention, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the model BV. MC dash ECM one oh seven Siri. I'm gonna see if you guys can see the inside. So I filled it up for the floor, so we're gonna fill it up to that line. It came with the scoop. You want to make sure you press press it down it doesn't come with the little press thing you can order those on Amazon if you feel that you need one I mean you could just use the back of it okay No. Okay. Keep it straight. There we go. Yeah, I guess you can do that. Put the cup right underneath. Yeah, this one, instead of it coming with that glass pot that you might see, um, in a lot of these videos on YouTube, mine didn't come with the pot. It actually came with this nice mug. So, we have it on off. Now we just flick it for brew. And it turns on and we just wait. We're going to just let that go until it's done. And that's done. Now we have it off. It 
lights on off. Okay, I might have to let my husband. But no, it's released all the pressure. Okay, there we go. I just wasn't using enough strength. And I'm hella nervous. Okay. See, a little bit, but nothing bad. This first cup is actually in go to my husband and his cousin. So, you want to know how it tastes. I'm going to leave a link down below to the show that they're recording right now. Like I told you earlier, my husband does a podcast called Babylon Abyss. Please go check them out. And like I said, they'll give you a review. I'm going to brew another one for me, and I'm going to show you how my drink comes out. Okay, two things, maybe three, who knows. So, the one thing I was worried about is this being hard to remove. By the time I came back from the office delivering the espresso to my husband and his cousin, um, as soon as I came back, I released this, went straight to the trash can, dump it. I will say, it is warm. It may even be hot to some people. So I suggest to have like a kitchen towel to cup it, just look, get your trash can, bang it, and it literally pops out like a little hockey puck. That. This time I'm doing the Starbucks one for me. And I notice a difference already. This one is a bit darker than this one. This one is like a deep brown. This one's like borderline black. The smell. Very woodsy of this one. And this one has like almost borderline tobacco smell. Now they said they like it, but go check out that podcast like I asked. I'm pretty sure all of you guys will like it. I already filled it up with water, so I'm just gonna tighten it in. back up. There we go. I feel like the second time I'm getting like, it's getting easier. For the first time you don't really know what you're doing. Oh, come on, keep it straight. There we go. Oop, okay, cup in the back. And brew. And I will be back to show you my caramel frappuccino. Don't need Starbucks, but need the grinds. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. I just have this. Cause it is warm. Rotate it around. Ah. I did better the first time. 
There you go. That's how you dump it out. I could cry right now. I have no ice. So, I threw my protein shake in the freezer for a little bit. It was already in the fridge, so I'm hoping it got really cold. I normally fill this cup up with ice all the way to the top. I'd share some of the espresso that I just brewed. It's way better with ice. I am actually going to throw this in the freezer, but I am going to do a little taste test. That espresso, though. Okay. Because a lot of people talk crap about Starbucks espresso. Have bought in Starbucks espresso a couple times and now using Starbucks espresso beans this is better like their beans are better than what they brew at their shop like I said it's delicious I just really wish I had ice so I hope you try the recipe if you're on the hunt for an espresso machine I believe this was 30 something dollars at Target. In the description, I'll write down what the price was, but I definitely got it at Target. So, if you're on the hunt, I give it a 5 out of 5. It's perfect. So, pick it up if you're on the hunt. Because Instant Espresso is not the way to go. Thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend. Bye.